What up, YouTube friends, and probably future Ryan. Welcome to the very first episode of my vlog, not including episode number zero, which probably most of you won't see. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off and kind of talk about how my day went today. It wasn't the best at all. So I drive a really crappy PT Cruiser, and it seems like every time I'm home, it breaks down on me and today just happened to be one of those days so you know I was just driving along my way and all of a sudden the heat gauge starts going off the charts and I'm just like oh this happens casually my brother was sitting, was, my brother was sitting next to me and he said like the same thing like yeah the temperature gauge is kind of wild sometimes but uh this time smoke came out of the like engine and that was bad so me my brother were like, yeah, this is a great time to probably stop the car and probably see what's going on. Pop the hood and just a cloud of smoke comes out, smelling all kind of messed up. So, yeah. Luckily, though, um, it still was able to turn on afterwards. Uh, I took We took a little break to kind of like, maybe let's give this engine some time to cool down. We should probably also look at a place to take it into. Um, so we found a place about two miles down the street. The only problem with it was once we finally got back into the car about an hour later, it took the car only about two minutes before it started overheating again. So before the time we were able to get the car to the shop, we had to stop about four or five more times um, and wait a couple of 15 minutes. I was about done with everything. I'm, I'm ready to destroy that car, but luckily we got to, to the shop and they said it's not melted the engines not melted so that's excellent i'm really excited about that it's just some really expensive fan in the front of the car so that went down today um that sucks but at the same time the car's not completely broken so hey there's a bright side to the whole thing um but i guess what started all of this is i went to the library today because I've been to the library in about two-ish years, so I figured today was the day to finally go back and actually get a library card instead of, like, just stealing my sister's. Um, I think I've, like, racked up probably $50 in late fees on her card, so, you know, doing the adult thing, I decided to go make my own library card to go check out music. Um, but, yeah, so what I did was check out a bunch of music. I was really hoping to get a... Um, what, Blood Orange's first album? They didn't have it at the library I normally go to, so that's what made me drive a little bit farther, and that's when I ran into car trouble. But I was able to get some pretty cool finds, I guess. Um, so I'll go ahead and tell you guys what I got. So um, the first one I got right here is Ritual and Repeat by Tennis. Um, I'm a big fan of Tennis. I like that kind of like girly beach music, and this happens to be one of the albums I haven't picked up yet. So let me go ahead and give that one a listen to. Um, uh, Fiddler, uh, got them. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I'm not 100% sure. I'm terrible with band names. But love this album. Never had a chance to listen to the whole thing. So here I am checking that one out. Uh, I checked out a total of like eight CDs. I was really hoping to get ten. But, um, the other two I was going to get out of a different library. Car broke down. All that stupid stuff. Um, got these OCs. Um, yes, these OCs. That's its name. Uh, this is an album I haven't listened to yet. Love their stuff. Just kind of that garagey feel. Um, oh, whoops. There we go. Um, they've even got a group love album. Uh, it's their newer one. Uh, newer being in probably the past two years. I haven't listened to it yet. I've seen them live a couple of times. I love them. My friend's a huge fan of them. and telling me, like, hey, you got to listen to their new album. And I'm just like... Ugh, don't got money gotta wait till I get back to the library so this is me getting back to the library and finally checking that album out I was able to get one blood orange album um, newer one Cupid deluxe really looking forward to listening through this one uh, then we got a church's album I've seen them live they're kind of meh but I still like their music on CDs because it sounds a lot better. So I went ahead and checked out their newer album. I'm not sure if it's the newest one. I don't really keep up with them. Lana Del Rey, Ultra Violence, just because everyone likes Lana Del Rey. So might as well give that one a listen to. I'm not the biggest fan. I've listened to some of her older stuff, then I kind of like 
uh, maybe not anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and listen to Ultraviolence, see what I think about it. And then finally, Father John Misty's new album. Need to give that a listen to. Big Father John Misty fan, so I had to pick up that one. But that's really all I could find at the library um, I went to today. Hopefully, I'll be able to listen to these all in the next couple of days and be able to pick up a new batch of 10 because they put a cap on me at 10. Actually, I kind of wish I picked up a couple other albums. Um, I really want to get Damned by Kendrick Lamar. Um, unfortunately, it's on hold by 56 different people, and there's only five copies of it in the San Antonio library, so that really sucks. Um, I'm probably going to have to wait till summer or maybe even next winter for all those holds to wear off and get a full listen through, so that's kind of disappointing, but that's been my day today. Checking out CDs from the library, my car catching on fire, kind of just mostly melting, and yeah, but other than that, I don't know. I'd rate today a, a 5 out of 10. It could go either way. I got a bunch of new music, but my car is kind of out of commission, at least for a day at the shop. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, other exciting news. The baby in my house isn't as annoying as I thought. I was playing with her when I got picked up from the shop. Um, babies are dumb. That's just a well-known fact. They can make sounds, but also, I always keep a fidget spinner in my coat pocket because, like, you never know when you're going to need a good spin or whatever, and babies love those, and they don't know how they work at all, but that's still pretty fantastic because the little baby Lily's mind was blown every time I just kind of, like, whipped it out and just like, yeah, look at this fidget spinner, it's spinning, but yeah, um, babies... Just gonna lay it out there, dumb. But that doesn't mean making fidget spinners are dumb either, because fidget spinners are. I'm a fan. I would give it a, like 10 spins out of 10. And highly recommend anyone who hasn't tried one go out to Walmart, find a $2 fidget spinner, and just try it out. I got mine for free from like some company visiting my college or whatever, but fidget spinners, 10 spins out of 10, would recommend. Um, and that's about it for today's vlog. I know it's kind of a short one, um, but that's just because, like, I don't know, not too much exciting stuff happened today other than getting CDs and, uh, you know, my car not doing car stuff. I guess later tonight I am going to go do some puzzles, which is, like, really exciting. I know puzzles sometimes sound boring, but, like, they are, like, beautiful and complete and just, like... I love puzzles. Everyone should do a puzzle, like, now. Um, but I'll let you guys know if it gets finished or not. But, hey, stop. Th thanks for stopping by and watching today's vlog. I know it's the first one, and I should have probably done a lot more different stuff and kind of, like, explain, like, who I am, what I do, like, why am I making a vlog? But this is just the first one, so you're going to have to... Come back and watch some more if you want to know the mysteries of my life. Ryan Clark's Mysteries. Hot Cup of Clark, because I'm pretty sure that's what my uh, YouTube name is. If it's not, I'll get around to changing it to that. Um, but thanks for stopping by. I guess do that YouTube stuff. And if you like the video, like it down below. If you want to hear me talk a lot more subscribe and like leave a comment if you want to know like wow this video was interesting but i gotta i gotta ask him something or like this dude's an idiot and i want him to know because i'm a mean person go ahead and post those in the comments i'll try getting back to whatever's like at the top or whatever i have time for but thanks for stopping by